Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome back to another video of ours. And this video is all about Bray Wanderers and Ian Ryan. Ian Ryan appointed the manager of Bray Wanderers, or should I say officially head coach of Bray Wanderers. This happened yesterday, Tuesday. And this doing this video on Wednesday. I will be releasing this actually on Wednesday evening as well, to be fair. But um, yeah, it's great because, um, you know, Bray Wanderers are a club that, I think things got very messy at Bray last year, extremely messy with the Cabin Teeley merger. Um, you know, there was a lot of friction at the club between club fans, et cetera, et cetera. And I think now Bray Wanderers and the fans might be able to reconnect a little bit. Like, forget about that. Last season's last season. Um, they should be all one, be all one. Ian Ryan coming in to be head coach, I think is a massive decision for Bray. I think it's the right decision for Bray. I think it's a brilliant decision for Bray. Ian Ryan's a coach that I'd be a huge fan of. And um, I did a video on uh, who could take over from Keith Long at Bowes probably a month before Bowes made their appointment. And uh, Ian Ryan was the one that I was kind of shouting from the rooftops a little bit. Comes from the UCD school as such, you know, um, coach at UCD. And we know how people coach at UCD, how the club runs, how it works, et cetera, et cetera. And um, used to work with young players, likes an attacking brand of football, very good with with young players and with people. And from what I'm hearing as well, seems a very pleasant chap, actually, Ian Ryan, but a very good coach. Obviously went on to, to manage Wexford last year. I think he did a good job. They did be disappointed they fell off a little bit in the end because they were very close to the playoff place. Overall, did a good job. Recruitment was pretty good as well. Uh, mixed experience with some very good young players and you know Wexford were a good side to watch last year Bray on the other hand probably weren't the best side to watch last year in in the first division didn't score too many goals wasn't very often they scored more than one goal let's say the Carlisle in particular which is always disappointing for home home fans and you know they've got this decision they've made this decision should I say very early obviously with Ryan leaving Wexford and that, but they've made the decision very early and they've got a very, very good coach in. So it's great to actually talk good about a club because you do get sick of people mightn't believe this at times, but when things are negative at a club and seem to be negative, you actually get sick of talking about it and you want to be positive um, towards every club. So absolutely delighted personally with this as well. Bray are a good club at the end of the day. They've got some very staunch fans there um, a very good history let's be real as well Bray Wanderers and there's huge potential in that club I always say there's big potential in that club that you feel could be harnessed and it's a great step in bringing in Ian Ryan as I said there as well before but be interested to see what players he brings in as well because I believe he'll probably bring in one or two from Wexford we might see Luke Lovage back he was a Bray before very good player maybe Jack Doherty could come in you never know what kind of players could come in but I think a clear out is needed at Bray I think there too many players in the squad last season and there was a lot of it's very hard for that team to be cohesive with so many players Um, they must have had over 30 players nearly in the first team squad last year I'd love to see how many players actually played for Bray last year I don't have a statistic um, but I'd say I would say easily 25 players or more I would say to be honest with you Things got very tense last year at Bray and you could see the strain on the fans and you could see the strain on the likes of Pat Devlin. Look, Pat Devlin has been a fantastic League of Ireland man all down through the years. Absolutely top League of Ireland man. Huge for Bray. Uh, obviously went to Cabin Teeley, coming back to Bray as well. He's always been so. And I was just a little bit worried that the legacy might be tarnished a little bit. He's obviously older now, Pat Devlin as well. And I think this is the right decision for him as well on a personal level also. I think... Um, he obviously invests in Bray. He's head of football at Bray as well, and he'll continue to do that role. But I think it was it was good for him to get out of maybe the coaching management, if you like, side of things and have less focus so he could focus on the other things and get a coach in there um, to do that job, basically. I think it was good for him. I think it's good for the club. And I think it's good for the fans. And I think it's a very sensible decision and the right decision. But to go and get a, a top coach in Ian Ryan, even better, honestly, fantastic coach. Um, and it's going to be very interesting to see how they do next season. They're obviously going to make changes, I feel. I think their squad, as I said, needs to be a little bit smaller. Set a foundation, starting a good footing, get everyone behind, everyone get behind the club and look forward to next season because it was a horrible season for everybody at Bray Wonders. 
it'll take time obviously for Ian to implement what he wants to implement but that depends on recruitment as well and what kind of players he gets in and you know he likes he seems to get the best out of players and make them either he brings in players that are really hungry or you know instills a hunger into a player that maybe didn't have that before let's say because I think there was an issue there at Bray last year in that in that regard as well. And I've no doubt he'll do that. And for Bray fans and for League of Ireland fans, it's actually quite exciting to see how Ian Ryan will perform at Bray next year. And it's a good news story for them. So I'm absolutely delighted with it personally. And that's all I have to say, really, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether you're a Bray supporter or not. A uh, Wexford supporter, even, you may be disappointed he's left, which is understandable as well. Uh, definitely Bray's gain and I'm really looking forward to seeing how Bray do next season subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit your bell notification button guys it just keeps you up to date with our uploads There's plenty of uploads there and continue to be plenty of uploads uh, we've Premier Division season preview or review I should say coming up soon where we go through every club the same in the first division where we go through every club as well and uh, plenty more besides thanks for watching again guys and have a good day have a good evening because this will be out in the evening good luck